Hello and thank you so much for joining us on Sports Hub. This is a program where we profile different sports personalities. They share their stories in terms of where they're coming from, uh, where they are and where they are going. My name is Modern Sinkala. This is the ninth edition of the program. So um, last week I had interesting guests. I had Cherry Muchindu and um, also a FIFA assistant referee, Diana Chikotesha. Today I have a different set of guests. They both use strength uh, in their uh, sports disciplines. So um, I'm looking forward to that final segment um, where they have to challenge each other, ball juggling, arm wrestling. And if there will be a tie, we'll go to uh, <laughs> press-ups so that we see uh, who is the strongest and who will carry the day uh, today. So um, before I introduce uh, my guest in the studio, um, I always show you photos of sports personalities. Last week, I showed you a photo to identify someone. Uh, so let's see, that's the boxer there. Who is that boxer? So since I didn't receive a call, um, that's Kenneth, the moving trap, Kanyanta. So he won a gold medal at the 2002 um, Commonwealth Games. So he's a Zambian legend. He's retired uh, from boxing and uh, he won all the, he fought 11 fights. He won all of them, nine of them via technical knockout. What a legend uh, that we had in Kenneth Kanyanta. He's around, he's a boxing coach now. So that's uh, him. All right, so now let's look at uh, today's photo. Um, identify for me uh, the next photo. Who is that footballer in that photo? He is a Zambian legend. Uh, Zambian football cannot go without his mention. So give us a call. The line will be displayed on the screen. Who is that man in that photo, in that black and white photo? All right. So time for me to introduce my guests in the studio. The first one we have is Melvin Gutman Mwemba. He is uh, with us here walking majestically to the stage. He is a bodybuilder. He started from bodybuilding, uh, competing under Mr. Kabwata. He won two titles under Mr. Kabwata. Then later on, he transitioned to a, a similar but different sport, um, Strongman Championship. So he is one of the strongest men in Zambia. He competed at the Arnold Classics and uh, won a silver medal there. So that's him, Melvin Mwemba. We also have another guest. He recently competed at the Tokyo Olympic Games. His name is Steven Mungandu. He is 26 years of age and he's been competing uh, in the sport of judo. That's him. <laughs> Looking forward to that segment. Who do you think will win in arm wrestling and ball juggling? These are the two <laughs> gentlemen I have. Uh, so Stephen Mungandu um, won a bronze medal at the African Judo Championship and uh, went on to represent Zambia at the Tokyo 2020 Games. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming in. Come and join me here. <coughs> Brad, these are the guests that we have. So the number will be displayed on the screen. Feel free to call us, either to tell us about the answer, um, the, the photo that I showed you, give us the answer, mm -hmm. or you would want to give any contribution uh, regarding uh, the program. All right, so before we go deep into the details of the program, uh, we dance a bit. Uh, this time we'll dance to a song done by 1J. It's called... Vuvuzela. It was very hot that time in 2011-2012 when Zambia won the AFCON 2012 trophy in Gabon. So we just relive those moments. <laughs> Vamos ver 
by one J, a lot of memories. And you know, some of those girls we've seen, they were under 20 then, but this time are the ones who are playing in the senior Copa Queens. I saw um, girls like Helen Mubanga in that video. And also I saw one coach who is late now, Angela Sungameha, so rest in peace, was in that video. Um, so you can see the progress. And now it's, it's about 10 years now from the time the song was released. Uh, that's one J there. All right, time for me to talk to my guest. I have Melvin Mwemba, who is a strong man in Zambia. And I also have Stephen Mungandu, a judoka. So let's hear their stories. Let me start with uh, Melvin Mwemba. Um, Melvin, I knew you as a bodybuilder, uh, by then competing for Kabwata Gym. Yes. Um, how did you think of joining the sport? Uh... Let me, which one now? Bodybuilding Body, or Bodybuilding, or, or where you started from? Uh, bodybuilding, really. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll summarize it. Mm -hmm. 
going through high school, I was really uh, a small guy. Huh? Mm. You won't believe I was very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I, di I didn't want to be called Kamelvin. You know how it is. It, 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 it hit me so negatively, it's a Kamelvin, and I didn't like that. So one day I was walking from town with my cousin. I came to visit Lusaka first of all. And then I from was where? We were walking from, uh, from uh, town to Kawata. Was, uh, yeah. We went to town, then we were walking through Madras to Kawata. Mm -hmm. And uh, along Bama Road, I saw a building and it was written Kawata Community Gym. I was like, ah, my friend, there's a gym here. And that's how I signed up and joined. All right, I paid a 15,000 kwacha then, you know. Um, with time, I fell in love with the sport. Basically, my point was to be a bit bigger so that I could command a bit of respect, some kind of respect <laughs> on the streets, you know how it is. Uh. That was my main aim. Uh, well, it hit me that uh, I actually loved it so much that it became a discipline that I, a lifestyle that I decided to, to pursue. Not because now I wanted to scare people, but it, it became some kind of a lifestyle, a passion that I loved so much. And um, uh, through college, and once I left college, I decided to actually step on stage and compete in the, um, the Mr. Kapwata in-house bodybuilding competition. That was 2007, okay? That was- So the, we're the talking about 14 years down the line. Yes, mm -hmm. I started bodybuilding, or I stepped into the gym first time in 2002, 2003, around that time. Mm. So I've been, I've been in the gym all this time. Okay. But then I stepped on stage to compete in an in-house show 2007, that was Mr. Kabwata Bodybuilding. Okay, so yeah. who did you find at that time when you joined the gym? Uh, so many so, so many guys, huh? Um, the noticeable one is uh, Davis Kazwe, former Mr. Zambia 2004. Mm. Yes, I, I remember seeing Davy one day, I was, I was back home in Choma and um, I saw him on TV, Smooth Talk then. Mm. And I, I remember telling my mother, I said, one day I'll be like that. Mm. And, and, she, and she laughed, you know, she was like, oh, okay. You wanna look like that? I said, yes, one day I'll just look, because I love to be, to look, to look stronger, you know, like mm -hmm. just a bit macho. Mm. It, it, for me, that was, that was, that was a good thing. Mm. So yeah, Davy is one of them. Uh, because then he was, he just won Mr. Zambia. He had just won Mr. Zambia 2004. Okay. Then I, I got to meet him one day and I was like, okay. Dreams are coming true, you know, he, he inspired. Okay, yeah. so um, were, were you welcomed to, to the sport? Were you given that warm welcome when you thought, because you were quite tiny, yes. were you given encouragement that yeah, you can be big also one day? Yes, I was, luckily, th there was a bit of, there was, there, we had a few bullies in the gym, you know, back then, but luckily I, there's a guy, I remember Emmanuel, um, he's, still, he's still around, he works for, I think he's with uh, some ministry, uh, he, he took me under his wing. Mm -hmm. Okay, he took me under his wing and he said, You know. <laughs> <laughs> and and he, he taught me the basics from the squ how to do squats, how to bench press, how to, just how to, to, to train in the gym. He, he helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, and okay. I, I felt very welcome then. I, uh, there was no intimidation for me. I was happy. Okay, let's see some of the photos that I saw you earlier on. Uh, in that, maybe you can, um, you can tell us what occasion that was. Um, saw some photos of you doing bodybuilding. Body um, uh, by then, I remember, um, yeah, that photo. Uh, can you remember that competition? Yes, that was Mr. Zambia 2013. Oh, uh, I think wow. That, that should have been at Pamozi Hotel. Okay. Yes. That was the main Mr. Zambia. Yes, and I placed, I placed fourth in fourth. The, this, this show. Yes. Okay. So you were competing with the likes of uh, Sylvester Muira? Yes, Sylvester was there, uh, Gabi Kalande was there, and Nduba Shanabato from Atero. Mm. Um, uh, behind me there, I can actually see Emmanuel Mali also from Atero. Mm. Uh, the other guy behind me is Let, may you so rest in peace, uh, from Kanyama Gym. So, so yeah, th that, was the, th that was the crop of bodybuilders then. Mm, so how was the feeling competing with the likes of Sylvester, you know, that he's been winning from 2010? and he, he won in a row, how was the thing? Did you have that hope that maybe, uh, yeah, maybe um, I, I might win? Yes, yes, I must say there was, you know, it, this is a game for everybody. If you prepare properly, uh, trust me, you have the chance to, to actually scoop the day. So bodybuilding takes a lot of time, you know, it takes a lot of hard work. You ha one has to be really disciplined to bring out such a physique, you know, uh, conditioning, uh, you know, uh, mass and symmetry. It takes a lot of art, actually, you know. Uh, I remember 2007, mm -hmm. uh, I placed seventh in uh, 
Yeah, that was uh, 2007, my first show. Mm. So Vesta was behind me. Mm. I placed higher than him. Oh. Uh, take, away, t take nothing away from him. He's a hard worker. Let's give him credit. Mm. Sylvester Mwira is a hard worker. All right, so all that he has achieved over the years, it's through hard work and determination. He, he's a good guy. Okay. He's a good guy. And you're, you're both coming from Kabwata Gym. Yes. I remember then, when, when I first covered uh, Mr. Kabwata, I remember Sylvester finishing third. But after that, I think he went, he was quite tiny as well. Then he went, worked on himself and then yes. came back big. Yes. What's the secret of becoming big in, in bodybuilding? Um, nutrition. Nutrition is key. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, nutrition, like the food we eat at home, also uh, the supplements that you buy, the glutamine, the aminos, the creatines, all these protein shakes, protein powders and whatnot. Mm. You know, one has to know what to eat at what time, how much to eat, you know. So you find one guy says, I eat seven meals a day. I'll believe when, <laughs> when a bodybuilder says seven meals I have seven meals in a day I'll, I'll believe because I've been through that road myself um, you probably have your first meal around four or five when you wake up another meal around seven which is probably your main breakfast and there's lunch in between meals also accounted because the body has to be fed you know and those have to be heavy meals N not really you probably have three main meals the heavy meals your breakfast your lunch and your dinner all right. Then there's also the in-between, the post-workout meals, the pre-workout meals. Those are also counted as, a, as meals. Say if you have a shake in the morning and break you know, two eggs in there and you mix everything, that's a meal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you have probably have your rice and your bread and whatnot at some other time. That's another meal. You know? Mm. Yeah. So bodybuilding is quite expensive as well. Because it is. for you to eat healthily yeah. and you know, to maintain the body. It is. Um, um, it, it is. And... Uh, when you look at the guys in, in, in these developed countries, uh, Europe and the Americas, you find that they, they have sponsors that, you know, and they have nutritionists to tell them, this works for you. Because what, what probably I eat and works for me may not work for my friend. Mm -hmm. The supplements that I'm taking may not work. For, so they say, before you embark on uh, a journey to start taking supplements, they advise, see a physician. Mm -hmm. Do all those uh, vitals and whatnot they take. They check your blood type, you know, things like that, and say, okay, fine, this will work for you, this won't. But the other guy may use everything. So, yeah, it's like that. Okay. Now, are you, are you a family man, Melvin? Yes, I am. Okay. I am. Uh, I'm married. I've been married for, this will be my ninth year, actually, come October. Wow. I've been, been married since, been married. Two, yeah, mm. I've been married <laughs> since 2012. Uh, we have two daughters. Two daughters? Yes, seven and four years old. Okay, now uh, let's um, look at the photo again. Uh, <laughs> do you feel comfortable when you're in your bodybuilding outfit and then uh, does it come in your mind that no, maybe um, your, your daughters are watching and your family members are watching? Uh, and unfortunately, my daughters have never seen me uh, 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 compete on stage as a bodybuilder. They, they didn't get a chance to see me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I've invited, I've, been, I've invited my wife to bodybuilding shows. Then she was my girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, but... Um, the last one I did was 2015. Yeah, it, my last bodybuilding show was 2015. She could not attend, and for she was busy that day, mm -hmm. so she couldn't attend the, mm -hmm. my last bodybuilding show. But she's been there, and this is comfortable. Trust me, uh, it's comfortable for the very few hours that you are doing it. Mm. You know, uh, we are not the only ones who dress up like that to go and, and perform. <laughs> we have swimmers, we have athletes, <laughs> we have we, we have all those guys. So, <laughs> in that moment, it's okay. It's comfortable. You're very normal. <laughs> 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 it's very very normal yeah. all right uh, interesting interesting and um, uh, you know your, your bapongo she gets to watch your shows and <laughs> uh well no no i, I no they, they've never been to watch but they know to say then they knew to say this is what our son you know does mm -hmm. okay mm. they may not have they may not have wanted to come and watch me but then they knew to say oh now we are cool now we're bodybuilding show. The, 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 my wife would say, but I'm bodybuilding. I say, yeah, I'm going to do my thing. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're used, even uh, um, at, at a mall, if uh, you are asked, you know, get, get, take off your clothes, you, you flex some muscles, you're able to do that. Yes, because it, that, that lifestyle comes with a sport, or that sport comes with a lifestyle. So it, you, it, you kind of, you know, you, they, they gel. When they ask you to take off, of course, there's something you're probably trying to promote or show or, you know, um, communicate to the people. So mm -hmm. you just quickly take off and just put your clothes there and 
this play my son. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me come to Stephen Mungandu. Um, <laughs> yes. Stephen, we also want to know you. Um, where are you coming from as a judoka? What prompted you to join judo? Uh, actually, I started judo in the Kampinsa mobile unit. Oh, okay. As yeah. a cop? No, uh, I started when I was uh, seven years in mm -hmm. grade one. So I was inspired by my coach, uh, Mr. Gideon Mbao. Okay. Is that my soul is in peace? Okay. Yeah, so he started uh, training with me from 2002 until in uh, 2012, where I was selected to participate in the national team uh, zone six for under 20. The one that Zambia hosted, here. yes. Uh, then uh, I participated, then I I managed to get uh, a gold medal and a bronze medal in, in the heavyweight categories. Okay. Then from, from there, I went in uh, Algeria to, to participate in an uh, Africa championship where I didn't get any medal. Then again, we went in a Swaziland. I managed to get the gold is, medal. Is, is that the competition you're talking about, the Algeria one? Uh, no, this one is the African Championship, which was in uh, Madagascar. Madagascar, the most recent one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, is the one. Okay, uh, and that's where you won a bronze medal. A bronze medal, yeah. Then okay. from uh, Swaziland, then I went again in a. Uh, from Swaziland, I went. I was selected among. Uh, my fellow judokas, then we went, three of us, in Budapest. Hungary? Yes, uh, for the preparation for 2020 Olympics. Yeah, then there we started even uh, participating in the competition. Then I, we had the competition in a local competition, then I managed to get a silver medal. Uh, then we are, we were three Zambians. Then my friends get got uh, bronze made, bronze medal. Both they got bronze medal. Then from there I went again in Cameroon. Mm. Cameroon, I managed to get the uh, bronze medal. Yeah, again. Then from from Cameroon again I went in Dakar. Mm. I, I managed to get again a silver medal, the Africa Open Championship. Then from, from there, from when I was uh, in Kitwe, mm -hmm. then I participated in, uh, in Zone 6, under 20 games. Mm. Af just after the, the Zone 6, then I, I joined the... Zambia National Service, whereby they they gave me the the service number, okay. whereby um they 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 they, they liked me because uh, they wanted me to be part of them, part whereby of their team. a judoka there. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Then from there again the the training camp in Budapest. They they because of. Uh, Something uh, came, then went long. Then they told us that we will finish the same scholarship in in Paris, mm. France. Then we went in Paris um, for the the same preparation for Tokyo, Tokyo 2020. Olympics. Yeah. Then from there, I was selected to go and participate in. The Tokyo 2020. All right. Dubai. Okay, let's look at the um, yeah. African Championship. How was the experience there? How did you find the tournament? Uh, the tournament, uh, actually, I, I was supposed to get a, a good medal because uh, I believe myself. I, mm. can, I can do better than 
what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You feel maybe um, preparations were not adequate, or maybe um, they didn't judge <laughs> uh, <laughs> judge you correctly. No, uh, the competition was just okay. It's just uh, it's this is what sport is. Mm. Yeah, is you win and lose. Mm. Yeah, you can. You, ha you just have to expect anything, which. Okay. But right. You but don't ukuruza. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's true. <coughs> so yeah. how was the feeling? Give us the feeling how it was when you were told, yeah. Stephen, you'll be representing Zambia at the Olympics. The only judoka to represent Zambia at the Olympics. Yeah. How was the feeling? Yeah, I was very happy because uh, judo is a major sport. Yeah, whereby to go to represent the country you have to qualify, you have to make the points whereby you qualify, mm -hmm. not by mathematics whereby they, they just make some mathematics. Mm -hmm. we, we have to, <laughs> to make points so that to be on the team mm -hmm. to represent Zambia. Yeah. So I was very happy to be in the team there. Okay. Yeah. So that's you there. Do you remember that fight? Yeah, I remember this fight. It was uh, in Zagreb, in Croatia, whereby I managed to reach in the quarterfinals. Okay, I'll get. Oh. I'll, okay, uh, it looks like um, we seem to have a caller. Yeah. Our first caller for today. Good evening and welcome to the program. Hello, good evening and welcome to the program. We seem to have. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Very well, thanks. Your name and where you're calling us from? This is in Perkelaso, speaking from Mundola. Calling from Mundola. Okay, great. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, do you want to give us the answer? Hello, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, um, feel free to contribute to the program. Yes, I'm sitting, I'm in the Houston contest, speaking from Dora. Yes, go ahead. Okay. The line seems to be bad. Please call us, call us again. Uh, your line is breaking, so we can't uh, clearly get what you're trying to say. Right, um, so please call us. The number is displayed on your screen. Um, so, uh, Stephen, you can continue. So you are, you are telling us about that fight. Yeah, mm. uh, that fight, it was in uh, Zagreb, in mm. Croatia, whereby I managed to, to, to be in, uh, in quarterfinals. Oh, you reached the quarterfinals? Yeah. So I, you beat that guy? Uh, yes, I... I on the guy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, mm. that, that's interesting. Um, mm. So give us the experience at the Olympics. You only fought one fight and you lost. How was the experience? Yeah, I think uh, again about that fight, what I can say, uh, okay, what I can say about that fight, the guy I was competing with, uh, I think we, we are just in the same level even though he managed to win me because uh, the same fight we i managed to fight with him in 11, 11 minutes whereby it's not common uh, uh, a lot of um, my my friends they just managed to maybe to fight maybe in one minute but me, I managed to fight with him in 11 minutes, minutes, whereby, yeah, it was 50-50. So in 11 minutes, yeah. um, you failed to bring each other down? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, so um, he, he won via, was it via Ipon or via? Uh, they just give him uh, the 
the judges uh, they just ah, decided. I see. Okay, I'll be back again. Yeah. Um, we have another caller. Thank you very much for joining us. Your name and where you're calling us from? Yes, I'm Mpondela speaking from Mundola. Mpondela from Mundola. Mkonde. Mkonde. <laughs> yes. Mkonde from Mundola. Okay, you can go ahead with your contribution. At least you are clear. Yeah, the, the man the man in the line. The man on the, the picture. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. The man in the picture is Godfrey Chitalu. Ah. The is Godfrey Chitalu. Are you sure? Yes, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, yeah. Okay, so tell us something about him. What you knew about him. Yeah, Godfrey Chitalu called there about 109 goals in the season. Which season was that? I don't remember very well. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, okay. Um, any any contribution regarding the two gentlemen that I have in the studio? Uh, the two of them, more especially the one who is doing the judo. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish him good luck in the in, in other one. But okay. All yeah. right. Uh, thank you very much. So hold the line so that we can get your your number. Then uh, we'll be in touch with you. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, yes, indeed, that's uh, Godfrey Yuka Chitalu. May his soul rest in peace. He died together with um, mm -hmm. the other members of the team in 1993 uh, during that unfortunate air crash uh, off the coast of Libreville in, um, in Gabon. So in 1972, he scored 100 and actually it's 116 goals. Um, but, you know, by then, the league had not started. Uh, you know, the, the Zambian League by then was starting around, you know, April, somewhere there. And those uh, other goals uh, were scored before the league started. So they only counted 107 uh, for uh, the league. So, but in total, including the African Championship, uh, he scored 116 goals. What a man he was, Godfrey Yuka Stalu. So thank you very mm -hmm. much for calling. But keep calling um, so that you can contribute uh, to the program. Um, I was talking to you earlier, Stephen. You are, talking, you are describing to us how the fight was that you fought with him in 11 minutes. 11 minutes. So in the end, the judges just had to decide who the yeah. winner was between the two of you. Yes, because they were given penalties, whereby they were saying that uh, I'm making votes. So they were, if they give you three votes, it means you, 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 you lost the fight. Okay. Yeah. Do you think you genuinely lost that fight? Because uh, what, what I can say about the next uh, penalty, it wasn't the fault there, but they just give him that it was the fault, but mm. I didn't make any fault. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, are you regretting your... Uh, uh, um, are, are you... How content are you with your performance at the Olympics? Uh, I think everyone there, we are just the same level. It's just the same level. We just have to make sure, because this, this, this is just the, my first Olympic. Mm -hmm. So I'll make sure for 2024, I'll do my, I, I do my best. Because mm -hmm. the, the, we, are, we are preparing the Commonwealth in 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, with my coach. Okay. So I think I would do that one is to be just the preparation for 2024 Olympic. Okay. Yeah. So I will make sure I I reap a medal there. So that's you at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Yeah. Uh, you were in blue. Yeah. And so. your opponent uh, was in white. And uh, I can see that's from, is it, is it Colombia? It's uh, Slovenia. Oh, it's from Slovenia. And yeah. Slovenians are quite good when it comes to judo, right? Yeah, but uh, they are good. But I think we are just the, 
the same level. Mm. Yes, yeah. Wow. So that's uh, Stephen mm. Mungandi there on the, on the map. Uh, any lessons that you feel you picked um, from your competition, from your competition at the uh, Tokyo Olympics? Uh, there, I, I learned whereby how to make toward the competition to make sure I, then my opponent didn't throw me down. Yeah, so I think I learned a lot again whereby is in my heart. So the next comp competition, I'll make sure whereby I reached in 11 minutes. So the next competition, I just have to to win. Okay. Maybe in one minute or <laughs> All right. se seconds. Yeah. Okay. So for now, we break off uh, for another song. When we come back, I'll be talking to Melvin so he can tell us um, the new type of sport that he ventured in from bodybuilding to strongman championship. That's um, Pompey, Mag44, Tio, you know, uniting um, uh, the nation with that song. Those are gospel artists, but they came together because Zambia had won something uh, that the nation has never experienced before. That's the Africa Cup of Nations in 2012. All right. So um, I'm told, before I come to, to you, Melvin, uh, Stephen, I'm told um, you are the first Zambian judoka to reach the fourth round at the World Championship. In Japan? Yeah, in Japan. I reached so that was your second time going to Japan? Yes, it was my second time, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, the, what, what's the other record? Um, the first uh, Zambian to get a silver medal in Africa Championship. Wow. Yeah. Well done. That's Stephen Mungandu. So you may be wondering, who is this Stephen Mungandu? <laughs> who is representing Zambia at the Olympics? Uh, mm. That's him. Right, um, Melvin, let me come to you. So from bodybuilding, you thought of joining um, another similar sport, but a different one, strongman. Mm -hmm. Strongman championship, what prompted you to transition? Hey, wait. Um, well, um, through the years of uh, uh, bodybuilding, I realized at some point to say I was I was a bit stronger than an average bodybuilder. Mm. Okay, uh, I would probably bench press heavier. I would uh, shoulder press heavier, squat heavy, deadlift heavy. So when when Sean Can Can Cunningham, uh, proprietor of City Health, mm -hmm. uh, called us and said, uh, "Guys, uh, there's a motor show, Lusaka Motor Show. We want guys to kind of entertain. We're, trust me, we're just in a corner to try and entertain people with." strength related uh, uh, things like bench press, deadlifts, yeah. running sandbags, track pull, you know. So that was the birth of Zambia Strongman. That was in 2013, mm -hmm. all right? Then, uh, uh, then the other thing that made me switch was I tried to juggle between bodybuilding and, and Strongman for mm -hmm. I think two years. From 2013, I'll, I'll do Strongman, a month later or so, I do bodybuilding, then move to um, Strongman again, back to bodybuilding. It, it was like that. Eventually in 2015, I stepped what, on was stage. Was it easy or hard to juggle the two? It, not much. It was, it was tricky to move from uh, bodybuilding to go to, no, no, from Strongman to go to a bodybuilding shop. Because Strongman, we, yes, of course, we, we have weight categories, but then you're told to, you, you can eat and be as big as you can for as long as you, you watch your, your weight category, your, your competition weight. Um, I compete under the 105 kg. Mm. I can be 105 kg, but not, not beyond 105. How much do you weigh? I, I think I'm sitting on 108 now. 107, wow. 108 wow. kgs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it was difficult to move from strongman to bodybuilding because I had to cut down, I had to watch my, my foods and I had to... You know, bodybuilders, we, we display muscle, you know, six pack and you, you have to, there's a way you need to look, your physique, because you, are no, you need to go and show, you, it's like you're a model. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so I, I switched to completely now to strongman because I, I realized uh, there's not so many people's opinion in our sport mm -hmm. in strongman. Um, ten of you will be given the same implement or the same weight and say, okay, this, this is a 300 kg uh, uh, weight here. Mm -hmm. You're given 60 seconds to do as many lifts as you can. So imagine 10 of us weighing 104, 103, 105 kg. That, that's your weight category. So um, you, you are judged based on your strength. No one is going to say, you don't look good here, mm. you, don't, you don't have a calf <laughs> here, your six pack is whatever, whatever. So for this, you don't have to depend on judges. It has to depend on your strength. Your strength, they'll give you, if they say track pull, this is a, a six ton track. You're given 20 meters distance and you're given 60 seconds to pull as, as quick as you can. So the quickest time wins it. So we sit there and pull the track, you know, that was deadlift. That was a car deadlift, weighing, I think, 350, 330, 40 kgs mm. for as many reps as you can. I think I managed, is it six or seven reps? Mm. The guy that beat us there got, I think, 13 reps, a South African guy. Mm. Okay. So you, you're given the same weight. So judges really just have to score. You know, they just have, how many? Okay, 12 reps. The other guy, 10 reps. This one, two. So the highest number wins it. Bodybuilding, on the other hand, is very subjective. Too many opinions. Mm -hmm. For me, that kind of, you know, there's the shows where I felt I put in my best. I went in the best condition, you know, hard and shredded. But then they give, they give you third, fourth, you're like, come on, guys. <laughs> All this time I've put in the gym to try and be the best guy, you give me third. I feel I could have placed higher. I switched and I, I, I fall in love again with Strongman and I love it. It has, so, it so has um, with bodybuilding, what was your best achievement? What did you achieve in bodybuilding? Uh, winning Mr. Kabata twice, 2007 and 2009. Uh, then placing in the top three, top five in all my senior competitions, except one. When I started to move from the junior rank into the senior, I placed 10th. And I made a promise to my friends. I said, guys, you will never see me failing to, to be in the top five. So I was always in the, in the top three, top five bracket. Then again, um, I had the opportunity to compete um, in the Southern Africa Championship heavyweight category. I placed fourth. So th that was very, very good for me personally, you know. Okay. I never realized I could go that far. Okay. You know, I may not have scooped gold, but the plus things, you know, and the many competitions that I stepped on, like the many times I've, I've been on stage, I speak volumes. And in Strongman, what, what are some of your successes? Uh, strongman, getting second, of course, yes. Uh, the Arnold Classic 20, 2019, that was in South Africa. South Africa, okay. Yes, that actually opened the doors to the international, to, to the outside, uh, the, the America. Placing second there, and I got an invitation to go and compete at the World Championship. That was 2019 uh, in Daytona, Florida. You know, that, that's, something big, that's something big. You're going to Florida this, we, this we, November? We, that was 2019. Oh, yes, okay. we traveled. Then um, placed again, again, I got, was it second or third position, Africa Championship 2019. Okay. I got an invitation again to go to the Arnold Classic mm. Ohio. That was in Columbus. That was, that, that's big. Okay. okay, that's the mother of all Arnold Classics that, uh, that go around. Okay. Now, we, yes, we will be going to the World Championships again this November. We got invitations. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, that's what we're preparing for now. Okay. Yes. Uh, last week I hosted Cherry, and um, she spoke highly of you. That, oh, okay. um, yeah, actually in that video, the, 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 at the beginning, I'm seeing Cherry somewhere standing, looking on. Um, she was saying, you're yeah, a good training partner. Yes, um, shockingly, uh, I have a female training partner in a strength-related sport. Um, yeah, because I think our perception is that ladies cannot do certain things. Or weightlifting is for men only. And no, um, she's there to actually speak and say, listen, you can actually do it as a woman. Because they don't compete against men. They have their own class. It's called strongman, but then we have the ladies also. They're given a chance to, to do their thing. You know, yeah. So she, we've been training together since 2000 and, you know, June 2019. Yes, we started oh. training together. So okay. this is two years now running. Okay.
Okay. And so we are preparing for the World Championships again together. So okay. she's become a very good friend, a very good um, training partner. Okay. Yeah. So for you, what you're looking for, what do you want to achieve very quickly before we go to the challenges? What are you uh, trying to achieve? Where do you want to reach in this career? Um, well, p personally, as an individual, uh, to try and get a championship coming, like a gold medal, or at least a medal come home, you know. When you go to these championships, you want to put the, 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 the name of the country there, you know, and bring home a medal. Say, listen, guys, this is where I went, and this is what I brought back home. Okay. You know, of course, to come and show the sponsors and those all the fans that support us. Of course, I do it for my family because they, they, they see me wake up at four every day to go to the gym. So when I bring back something like that, I'll be like, guys, listen, this is a sacrifice and this is a medal on the table. Let's hang it somewhere. Okay. Also to see the sport grow. You know, okay. A time will come when I pull down the curtains and say, guys, I'm not competing anymore. Okay. You know, age has caught up. Okay. I'm not as competitive as I was 10 years ago. Okay. Just to see the sport grow and other guys coming through. We've, I think we've, we have tried to open the doors, you know, to, for people to come through and say, listen, let's push the, the sport forward. Okay. And you, uh, Stephen, very quickly, what do you want to achieve in your judo career? Uh, I, I, I want to be the world champion. All right. Yeah. Uh, simple as that. He wants to be a world champion. I'm the Olympian. So, gentlemen, <laughs> the um, Olympian come champion. here. I, I have to sanitize you before you go there. Okay. So, okay. Melvin, you'll be the first one. Uh, yeah. You do board juggling. Okay. You want to see <laughs> <laughs> the other side of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's try. Okay. Thank you. Then later on, I'm wrestling. So, you can pick up the ball. Okay. So, Melvin, as you are picking up the ball, they say, you know, those weights that you lift. Uh -huh. They cause hernia, and sometimes you may not have children. How true is that? Well, I have two girls at home, so <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I have uh, daughters. <laughs> what about hernia? <laughs> no, uh, I haven't experienced any hernia. That, that, it's a very painful injury. Huh? You wouldn't, okay. want to, we wouldn't want to go through that. All right, so Melvin, show us some ball juggling skills. Oh, my goodness. Time starts now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, <laughs> right, eight. <laughs> and I'm sure, Stephen, make sure you try that uh, chance in both juggling because maybe you may not win <laughs> when it comes to arm wrestling. <laughs> like so time starts now. Um, show us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm not sure whether you win arm wrestling. Ah. So you use that uh, where the ball is, that's the podium. Oh, you okay. Use. Yes. So, yes, so you can be positioned there. Yeah. Yes, so oh. elbows <laughs> on that platform. Yes. So, this under <laughs> three seconds, I'll count, then I will tell you to go. Okay. One, two, three, go. Bodybuilder versus Judoka. Who is the strongest? <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> the strong man has taken it. Body, uh, he's taken board juggling and also uh, maybe I, I, I'm thinking of giving you another chance. Steven, board juggling or arm wrestling? Uh, board juggling. Board juggling. Okay. okay, let me give you another chance. Okay, I'll, I'll move from there. <laughs> okay, against that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. All right. So, gentlemen, um, Melvin seemed to have won, but uh, Stephen, at the second time of trying, he's done very well. Uh -huh. But you are both winners. <laughs> thank, yeah, you. thank you very thank much you. for coming through to the program. <laughs> so, I was hosting Melvin Mwemba, strong man, one of the strongest men in Zambia, and also Stephen Mungandu, a judoka, who recently competed at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. And, um, well, he was eliminated at the first time of trying, but he says... He learned a lot of lessons. Ah, well, on behalf of the entire production crew, my name is Modern Stinker. See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>